Hey, Howdy. do you have five minutes? Possibly. I got to talk to the chief and ask chief. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... I'm ready to pull my hair out, okay? I'm ready to pull my... F I'm, I'm losing a little bit on duty right now because... I'm not sure how things just go from being organized to disorganized in five seconds. How could that happen? What the hell is going on? Are people just like turning I... their brain off? Are you talking about with Cornwood? Just in general today. I feel like people are just like lagging behind. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I'm just, I'm seeing a lot of people just not listening. People just, you know, after we have a 95, they go silent and do their own thing. They break off. People joining with that, saying something on the radio. I mean, just all over the place. I mean, I'll... I'll be fully honest, I fully expected to get like, to talked to about up. the outburst on Grove Street after he got shot. We had more units out looking for the car than we did at Grove Street, which I'm starting to think is extremely volatile. It's just people lost like understanding of like preservation of life and caring for that sometimes. sometimes. Protecting the scene and making sure the officer okay is number one. Then looking for the car afterwards, right? What's more important, the person dying in front of you or looking for a question mark? No, that's 100% why I got frustrated. <sighs> I got to talk to the chief and ask chief, though. But we can drive um, afterwards if you want to ride, unless we're going 42. Yeah. Right? You need to go to the hospital? You no, no, I got I got shot down a Grove. But anyway, we need to oh tell our cops, so I, the cul-de-sac, Grove Street, at least have a 77 too. They're very, very hostile to PD. Very hostile to PD. So I, I've been able to go down. I've been able to go down to Grove Street uh, because I've kind of formed a relationship with some of them down right. until yesterday. Until yesterday, when some guy I have never met before pulls up with Peanut and tells me I'm no longer allowed on the block. They don't want to see me down there. Wait, he says, that sounds this familiar. is our block. And I'm like, what do you mean your block? I, I said, I've been, I've been down here for... <sighs> I said, I've been down here for barbecues. I've been down here to talk yeah. with the folks. Yes. And this one guy just got super angry and said, you're not welcome anymore. I believe you, ask Chief, because the same person was trying to press me and Lenny. It seemed like things are different now. They're trying to press the PD. Chief, come here. They're very look, hostile. Look, look. I'm not look sure if it's um, one or two groups cup. or they're coming together and saying, you know what? with the PD and they're finding any reason to um, either escalate with us or uh, kick us off. Uh, for me, that just puts my suspicion even higher that there is dodgy stuff going on. I, I mean, I've seen them do handoffs, right? I'm not stupid, uh, but there must be more going on if they've suddenly turned like this.